Hey everybody, here to talk about Nick Diaz and Robbie Lawler 2. The two first fought back in April 2004 when they met at UFC 47, with Nick coming out ahead by way of knockout. I was introduced to UFC several years after this. I'll never forget my cousin showing me those first eight UFCs that came in this box set that many UFC fans will recognize well today. He also owned a few Best Knockout DVDs, which Nick Diaz was featured on plenty of, and that's how I grew to know him. I got to see his awesome fight with Robbie Lawler this way, and I grew to love them both. Over the years, both fighters have garnered attention and respect from fans in their own way. While their personalities and perhaps their whole outlook on life might be different, if they have one thing in common is their ability to brawl. Of course, there's a pair of Diaz's, there's Nick and Nate Diaz, and while they have similar styles, I would say Nick is the more tactical of the two. Nick, much like his brother, is really good at taunting while inside of the cage, and you can see this in their first fight. You can go back and watch and see Robbie Lawler getting extremely frustrated and kind of losing his cool halfway through the fight. I'd imagine receiving a few of those Stockton slaps, as they famously call them, would also take some wind out of the sails. And yeah, he's good at trash talking and getting into your head and all that sort of thing, but both Diaz brothers are actually jiu-jitsu black belts, which is pretty impressive. Nick Diaz has some good ground game, but Robbie Lawler prefers to stand up and brawl. Since their first fight, Robbie Lawler has gone on to have some of the most memorable fights in UFC history, including his all-out war with Carlos Conduit and my personal favorite, the second time he met Rory McDonald. If you consider yourself a fight fan, you've already seen this, and if you haven't, stop what you're doing and watch it. It's also very violent. So consider yourself warned, my nose already hurts thinking about this fight. I doubt I'm alone when I say that Nick Diaz vs. Robbie Lawler 2 actually means a lot to me. And it should be mentioned that both have been champions at one point or another. Robbie Lawler in 2014, and Nick Diaz way back in 2001 when he fought Chris Lytle. But in a way, this fight's almost a callback to the Dark Ages. Back before the Ronda Rouseys and the Conor McGregors, when fighters were probably not being paid that much. But there's almost no amount of bad either fighter could do to erase the good they've done in the past. Robbie Lawler could lose his next 100 fights and I would still be excited to see him get in there. The man has been in so many life-changing wars that I cannot even fathom. Who can forget Robbie with his split lip sitting there talking about how bad he just wants to knock people out and entertain the fans? Stuff like that really means a lot to me. I absolutely love this guy. Nick Diaz is no stranger to a war himself, and nearly 20 years later, for us, these guys are back to do it again. This is a pretty tough fight to call. I love both fighters. Robbie's lost his past four fights and Nick Diaz has been out for six or seven years. I do want to see Nick Diaz come back and do good. Uh, I want him back in title contention. I think that would be really sick. But if Robbie wins, I won't be sad either. Good luck to both of them and thank you so much for watching. This is The Scuffle with Fish. Have a nice day.